sunrise today. Now you would think, due to the light on my face, that the sun has actually already risen. We'll see. <laughs> Got a leopard up the tree. Buffalo. And there's some lions down there. Do you get high? Is it just too much? When we get down and you feel my touch, everything stops, but do you go up? Up in your body, love. Do you get high? Is it just too much? When we get down and you feel my touch, everything stops, but do you go up? I don't think I've spoken to you today or for a while really not properly you know there's a kind of schedule to the day so you get up go on your morning drive come back have breakfast you usually go for a nap have lunch 
um, and then an hour or two later after lunch you're going out again so it's obviously quite busy so I've not really been chatting to you guys much but it's been amazing like really really amazing I can't believe we're leaving tomorrow I think I'm gonna be <laughs> devastated I remember I cried when I left last time it's just been like heavenly even though you're getting up early and stuff is really relaxing and calming to be out in the car and obviously such an amazing opportunity to see wild animals close up because they have no boundaries between here and the like neighboring um, properties there's obviously Kruger National Park next door as well so they just wander freely between them but we had a really successful morning got up saw the sunrise as I hope that you saw I haven't checked the GoPro footage yet but I hope that you saw that and then headed off in search of um, some rhino and cheetah cheetahs as well didn't get successful with the cheetahs did see a little group of rhino is it rhino or rhinos I don't know but um, which was amazing because obviously they are there are fewer and fewer of them every year and they get poached we did go in search of the cheetah and there were some tracks and we tried to track them but well our ranger's great he's really really good at spotting things and tracking things but they had made a kill he thought at just over the border in Kruger National Park so he could see some vultures they'd come into Mala Mala land but they weren't really sure where they were and they were probably having a kind of lazy nap post meal that's what our ranger thought anyway he's great he's called Rowan so that was a bit of a shame but then he sent out some people to look for them because obviously there's tracks so they must be somewhere relatively close so he sent got some people that didn't have guests to take out to go and have a little look for them and then apparently there was a kind of standoff going on so we went to that um, by the bridge and there was a group of five lions a pride of lions down by the river and then like a group of buffalo up on the hill and obviously they were hoping that the buffalo would come down um, to drink but although the buffalo did look like they were about to a few times um, they eventually moved on before we arrived the lions had actually been sitting underneath a tree in which a leopard was sitting um, but she managed to make a little escape whilst the lions were down by the river um, and we watched her do that as well so it was really nice to see her come down from the tree and she was absolutely gorgeous so yeah that was our morning and then we came back had a really nice cooked breakfast again it's so good here I'm gonna have a little bit of a nap now because we got up at quarter to five this morning and we're out the door by five so yes definitely need a sleep just woken up from my nap guys and out my window is a herd of elephants they look quite far away on this camera but they look a lot closer in real life all of that depth will I do oh yes I do sing it again for us why we want to hear it there was a tiny turtle, his name was Tiny Tim. I put him in a bathtub to sit and he can swim. He drank up all the water, he ate up all the soap, and now he's sitting in bed with bubbles in his throat. And I just sang Nelly the Elephant, but apparently he just never heard that before. Hi guys, so we just got back from our lunch. Um, I'm keeping my voice down because India's napping at the minute. She didn't have a pre-lunch nap, so we're trying to get her to nap now because she's very tired. I'm gonna do some editing now going out at four and I think it's about quarter to three now so maybe I can get at least one video edited. She's happy. Indy's up in the back today <coughs> and there's not a lot of car there. from our afternoon evening drive and it was really good went to visit the lions that had killed 
buffalo. I don't know whether I said that, but they killed a buffalo after we <coughs> saw the kind of standoff because those buff that herd walked away when we were there, and then a new herd came down and they killed one from there. So we went to see those lions by the river, which was nice, and we watched the sunset and have some drinks, which was lovely. And finally, we went to visit a very cheeky, apparently leopard who um sometimes comes into camp and stuff but she'd just killed a bushbuck so we watched her have her dinner and now um i'm running myself a quick bath don't have too long until our dinner time but um i kind of just fancy one hi guys so i'm gonna go to bed now indy's already asleep so i'm trying not to make too much noise but I've had the most wonderful day and tomorrow morning is our last drive and I'm really, really sad about it. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, thank you for watching.